this is the perfect opportunity for us to be with one another, to celebrate one another, and to really say that we belong in all spaces, but especially the literary space. You know, I, I like to say I, I really love being black. <laughs> um, but it's something about our love for blackness, for books, and for authentic storytelling that really brings us together and makes Well Read Black Girl its own unique, special place in the world. Um, last year was just incredible, and I couldn't have expected I couldn't even have dreamed of what we created together. And this year feels even more powerful because now we have an anthology. <laughs> and I say we because I thought of each person in this room as I created it. I thought about Glory when she was 12 years old and the things that she needed to feel confident, to feel self-determined. Um, but I thought about all my friends in the book club and I thought about my mom, and I thought about Maya Angelou. I just considered all the people that really helped form my foundation and made me grow into the woman I am today. And I hope when you read the book, it really feels like a conversation. It feels like a friend and something you can hold on to and you wanna pass along to your friends and your daughters and your sisters and your aunties, and it can be a keepsake for you um, and really, for the educators in this room, because I know a lot of y'all are teachers, yes, that it comes a guide and a resource for you to show young black women, um, young black girls, that they can be anything they want to be in the world, but we have a literary canon that is rich, 